Ooh, a new background. Okay now. Hey y'all, this is All of Destiny. And in this video, we will be doing a home decor haul. So I went to the at-home store today and I picked up $300 worth of stuff. Two baskets full of stuff. $292, but who wants to put $292 in the title of the video? And then I also will show you all a few things that I picked up from Roses. Comment down below, let me know if you have an at-home store or a Roses where you live. I had help bringing everything in. I was like, okay, just stop right here. So the chances of me carrying all of this to the film room is not happening. We gonna, let's begin. <laughs> so plus a lot of this stuff is big, so I wanna be able to fit it all in the frame. First thing, ooh, we. First thing that we have here, I don't know what this is called, but it's round and it has all of these little squares in it. I'm gonna actually hang this in my kitchen. The price on this was $49.99. I wanna put this above the sink, but right now I have a little clock and the clock is probably, it's a little bit smaller than what the first little circular section right here looks like. And for that amount of wall space, I feel like that's not enough. So this is actually going to go right in front of the sink area. I did look at some bar stools today too that would match this, but I wanted to wait and hang everything up that I have so far. I didn't want to grab too much and then things start to not match. My clock, I'll put an overlay on the screen. I hate when I say that and then I have to do so much editing to actually go get the footage of the overlay to put in here. It should be on the screen right now though because I'm a YouTuber, that's what I do. I'm gonna move that somewhere else. The clock that I do have is like the standard type of kitchen clock where it has the spoons and the forks as your hour hands. Like having larger things like this is really going to fill the space in the room. I won't necessarily need lots and lots of stuff because it'll be like one big pop, you know? I mean, what in the world is that? Oh, that's just stuff, okay. I always think I see bugs when I don't see bugs. From that angle, it looked like one. Ugh, I had a phone call so I didn't play my clip back to see what I was talking about. In case this looks flat on camera, from the side it is sort of like kind of 3D like so it's not gonna be flat up against the wall. It kind of sticks out a little bit like this is a little layery compared to this one. I don't know if that makes sense or not. I'll also show you all what the backing looks like on everything because I do plan on going to Home Depot tomorrow and that way I'll know what types of hooks we'll need for everything. This is actually from Roses but I want to open this up right now because I need it now since we're filming. If you all saw my previous vlog, see how it's bouncing the light already? Oh uh, snap. If you all saw my previous vlog, no. This is going out after my reunion footage. Two vlogs ago, or if you all just, if you keep up with my vlogs, then you may have seen the one where I was talking about different things about like DIY behind the scenes with your lighting. So I saw some people use like the little sunshades for the car as you all can see how it's bouncing the light off of my ring light. So I picked this up from Roses for five bucks. I don't need this for my car. Instead, YouTube is always throwing stuff. And I just ripped this and broke it a little bit. I shouldn't do that because it's gonna make my background look junky. So what I'm gonna do with this basically, let me know if the lighting begins to change. I'm about to put this in front of me, right here. Let's see if it does anything with my, y'all gonna be like, nope, it didn't. Okay, dokie. That should do something if I can get it to stand up right. All right. Wait on it to focus again. It probably didn't do a single thing. Baby, can you focus on me? Let's do this one because it's casually sitting <laughs> out of place in my background. We haven't seen much of anything except my film roll on my channel, so I know y'all like, does that sit there? This doesn't sit there. I don't even know the proper name for these. I'm sure you all will tell me down below. My big brother has one of these at his house, and I was like, where did you get that? Ooh, what's that? I was about to get another one but it was blue and I kind of have a few blue accents in here so far. I decided instead that I would rather go as far as like larger pieces of furniture. It's not to necessarily say that everything will stay blue because like the candles and the um, the vials and things like that, that's an easy swap out if I wanted to do a different color scheme around my house. So if I purchased one of these and it was blue, for 80 bucks especially, this was $79.99, I wouldn't want to go and repurchase this, but it's easier to repurchase, you know, access. Like if y'all can see, I'm pointing, but y'all can't see that behind me. Like the little balls and things like that, that would be a different switch around, like say for instance, when the seasons change and you want to change your colors up. So I decided not to get that blue one but I decided to go with this brown, especially because it does match things in here. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna place this at, 
most likely it's going to be somewhere in a corner not hidden in the corner clearly because i do want it to be seen i didn't get those little things that go inside of here yet i forgot to grab them went to two stores but i still kind of just forgot tell me the name for that too because i don't know i know y'all know everything so tell me down below what it's called this was 79.99 it's really like good sturdy material too like it's not like flimsy or anything like that now i feel like i can put it back <laughs> In my background somewhere, okay. For the time being, it's out of the way. The next thing that I have here, this is going in my film room or kind of reflecting. So when you put it on the wall, it'll just show your wall color behind it. And this just has uh, the little recording thing on it. I wish it said, I'm recording. That would have been nice, but it doesn't say that. It actually just says play. This was $12.99. Let's go ahead and take the backing off and see how this needs to be hung as well. That way when I get to Home Depot, we'll know. I'm going to hang this in my film room. I don't know exactly which wall yet. Some things I hang according to when I'm filming so that it can be seen. But I feel like I can't squeeze everything in the frame because that would just look dumb. Try to hold it where it can be. Okay, there we go. It does match. I'll link the video down below if y'all haven't seen my beauty slash film slash guest room like DIY. Basically starting with the empty room and setting every single thing up. If you all watch my beauty videos and see me filming in there, you all can check that video out if you're interested in where exactly everything is from. But my color scheme in there is white, gray with pops of gold. So this definitely goes. I don't feel like every single thing has to be white with the gold. But since this had the gold on the play section, that will go perfectly for the room. I think the last thing that we'll start needing now, um, I did glance at a few mirrors in there while I was at the at home store. So I would just need, I was looking at a mirror. I'm thinking I'm going to, because I don't picture myself rearranging that room just because of the dimensions of it. Everything is placed kind of where it's going to be placed at. So I'm thinking about melting a mirror up and then maybe purchasing my own little, because I've seen the light kit, the vanity light kits that you can get. Cause I'm not paying $500 for a vanity mirror, I'm sorry. Like, I know some things you can invest in since it's like, I'll get use out of this, but I don't wanna buy this. So I'm gonna buy a mirror and put my own lights around it. Let me know if you all want that to be a video on my channel. Next thing that I have, also from the at home store, and it just says, did you say exercise or extra fries? And this was $9.99. It's by D. Sullivan, if you all kind of are familiar. Just another little canvas thing. Only thing though, as far as putting this in my kitchen, I don't know if it goes with my color scheme or not, but because I like what it says. And fun fact about me, I am a potato head. Like, these type of potatoes is my favorite food. Mashed potatoes, McAllister's, loaded, Spud Max, like those kind of things, classic Lay's, french fries, it used to be baconated fries. I really don't rock with those that much anymore. But potato, 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 okay? <laughs> saw this and I was like, oh, damn it. Cause if y'all saw one of my older vlogs when we were in the at-home store, I looked at the same thing, but I didn't get it. So while we went back, I was like, let me get it, okay? Like, let me get it. This is by Stupal Home Decor. Next thing I have is for the kitchen. It just says eat. To me, they, I guess they kind of look like little cutting boards. And then it's tied with this cute little rope. And the letters are made of different little materials. This one is made of like some kind of tin metal little wavy thing on the A. It's a little abstract. My phone is just going off. As well as the abstract on the E, tan, the gray, and then the white. Again, this is going in the kitchen. I don't know exactly where yet, like over wood or near the table. The finish on this is more so like a wood. This was $14.99 and it's on the back it says, it's the Eat three panel plaque. Let's open it. Oh, it just pops right out, okay. So the backing on this one. My phone is ringing. I'm recording. Here I've been, guys. Oh. Um, Got new bedding. I keep having to stop the camera so much and then I just, I don't play the footage back. It's so heavy. This, no more got you that. Neat's here, guys. I think this is my favorite thing out of everything that I got. Comment down below if you're still watching and let me know what your favorite thing is that I purchased today. So this is just a little canvas and this one kind of has that little 3D feel to it as well. You all will see when I get up close, it's kind of, it's flat in some, in some spots and then it has that little 3D rays to it. Other spots with the pops of color that I absolutely love. When I kind of held it up over our dining room set, it looked like it could go really good in that area too. I more so got this for the restroom, so Mom. I'm recording. Put, Put it in there. Say it. I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give this recording t-shirt. Okay. Um, it's a must. This is gonna go, uh, I may or may not show you all because I kind of don't want to do too many sneak peeks. 
this is like the perfect little thing to go above the toilet and then I have my little decor that's on the toilet because my shower curtain is white and so this really ties in well with that but still gives me that pop of color because I never want everything to be the same like if my color my main color in the room is white I still want to have my pops of color so that it's not too boring so the price on this one was $39.99 40 bucks basically it's a 22 by 28 in size if you are good with dimensions Ooh. Oh dear, this is the most heavy, all of them. So let me get real sturdy, especially because this part is glass too. I'm curious to see, cause I don't know for sure yet. Like I bought it without even being like certain. Man, I'm not gonna put this in the frame without dropping it. Okay, Ooh. All right, <laughs> next thing that I, you know what? Let me, hold on. Yeah, y'all, whoa. How about we let you sit down and I stand up? Oh, let me make sure my posture is right now since I'm all in the frame. All right, so next thing that we, huh? Uh, go ahead. Okay, so the next thing that I have here, this is going to go over the dining room table. Bless this food before us, family beside us, and love between us. These cute little flower things on both sides of it. Normally, I don't really like the whole rustic look, that farmhouse rustic type of look. That's not the thing I'm going for with my home. But when I saw this, more so what it says caught my attention because I told my mom, and one more painting, not painting, like a canvas or just something to frame in my restroom that I do want to get is like something with a slogan or something on it that's really nice to read, like a motivational quote. Because when I do get up in the morning, before I come in here in the living room to cut off the lights outside of the house, I go to my restroom first, clearly. So I want to be able to look at something that really inspires me every morning. I really like this. I feel like either one of those, this or the previous one that I just showed you all could go above the uh, dining room set, especially because my dining room set does have my little rings and then my napkin holder is blue. Uh, I don't want to spoil, it's hard to, like, sh to say, okay, I'll put an overlay on the screen because what if I do two words and I'm ruining everything? But uh, I feel like either one would blend, but because this one says what it says, it has to go in that area. Wait, why does this one have three and this one has two? Let me find out. So this one was $49.99 or 50 bucks. The previous one was $39.99 if I didn't say it. If the back of this is clear, like the thing that we're putting in my film room. <gasps> oh my God, it is. Yes, that's gonna be so cute. Get me. Ages 14 and up, decorative use only, not a toy. It says on the back, okay then. Oh, I shouldn't have opened this one yet. Yes, I did have to because I'm going to Home Depot tomorrow, I forgot. This is so beautiful, wow. Gorgeous. Then on the bottom portion right here, Please don't get problems with this destiny. You all can see on the bottom it has, it has that thing to it. And if I get close enough, you can see like a close, like it's not solid white. The wood is like kind of, I guess you all get what I mean about it. And then the back is that same up and down little hook that you kind of just position it on. I'm definitely probably gonna get the 50 pound one. The same thing that I hung my nail polish rack is hanging on because that thing, I took it down from my parents' house, moved it over here. And then the same thing that's actually holding up my uh, mirror that I got from Ikea as well in the film room. If y'all saw that video or I'll just link it down below. So I'm definitely going to get that. That's why I want to go ahead and open everything up as well. Plus, once I put things away, I don't regather it out to want to film. This. Why am I talking like this is the, oh, it scared me. Okay. The last item. Alright, let me sit this somewhere real quick. I don't want anything to happen. Be right back. Sit it. Oh, I can sit it on the couch. I feel like I'm covering up the background. I see like that. Alright, so that's everything from the at home store. My total was $2.92 and some change. I'll put it over here on the screen since my receipts in my purse. Moving right along, we also went to Roses. I actually Googled this one when I got home and then I clicked shopping. I do that a lot to compare a price to see if it's worth purchasing. I didn't do that actually on this until I got home because really for an AP set and I paid $29.99 for this, this is a queen set actually. I have like three different sets that I change up in between. But if you all saw the video when I went to Burlington and Marshalls and I was shopping for the house and another video, relevant ones will be linked in my description box down below. I wanted to pick pillows that would go on my bed if I swapped the set out, the pillows will still match and I wouldn't have to put them in the closet. Also, when I'm shopping online, I do see where you can basically, a lot of you all told me about this as well, where you can get the pillow covers, kind of like how you put your pillowcase on. You can get different sizes of pillowcases and then you can swap them out that way, so you have that option. But for my decorative pillows at the moment, that's just, you know, the ones that I purchased were the ones that I wanted. 
but coincidentally i do have like this sort of blush pink and then i also have some gray pillows on my bed so for this set to be i don't think this is fully white it might be like a little ivory color this is maybe I guess gray with the sort of blue undertones on it. Then it also has pops of little pink roses. So that goes perfect after like maybe two weeks. I want to swap it out and have something different on my bed. It just makes me feel like I have a new vibe in my room and I got new bedding. It's like having more than one phone case. Like it makes you feel like you have a new phone versus one's buy a new phone. This one, I didn't even tell y'all the name or anything. I'm just going on and on. This is the Blissful Comfort Collection 8-piece reversible. Oh, it's reversible. 8-piece reversible comforter set and the set includes one comforter two pillow shams one square pillow plus it has the four piece sheet set and that's what really drew me to this because most times when you get like the bed in the bag like, you don't get the sheets with it so i was like all of this for 30 dollars. like i said i typed in the name put in blissful comfort collection queen set when i got home clicked on shopping and these run anywhere from about $80 to $129 I saw. So for me to get this same one for 30 bucks, like Kim. Still baby deal, okay? It does have the two shams in here as well as the four piece she said. Not gonna necessarily show you all because it's just a haul. Now this is so cute. Oh, I love this. Absolutely love it. The comforter is really like a thick quality. Like it's not some little thin comforter that's the thickness of it is like a sheet. This was a good, a good buy. At the at home store, I had also seen a lot of these little vases. I don't like to grab something if it's like, oh, just get it. You'll figure out where you're gonna put it. I don't like to shop like that. Unless it's like a really, really, really like steel deal type of thing. I more so like to know where something is gonna go. I didn't get any of these when I was in the at home store, but they definitely had lots and lots of them. If you all seen any of my vlogs where I'm in the at home store shopping. But because this one was at Roses for $7.99, and you know at the at home store, so Sometimes things like you heard a lot of the prices that I was saying $40, $50, $79 for old girl in the back. It can get a little pricey. So to see this same type of vase for $7.99 compared to the prices that I was seeing in the at home store, not being sure where I would even put it for the price that I was going to pay for it. For $7.99, I was like, let me just get this one and I'll figure out where this one will go. I can't really tell you all what Roman stuff this is gonna go in yet because I don't know necessarily. I was in a sense, I guess I'm sort of teasing with all of this because you're, you're not really seeing exactly where it goes. I'm telling you all the idea. I don't want to finish a room and then decide to do a tour because I'm a YouTuber, so it's like you should show us. I wanna feel like if I am gonna show it that I genuinely really want to show a room. Like that's just a few of the things that I do get to keep to myself what a certain room may look like, what gym I go to, what area I live in, like different things like that. It's like certain things that I can kind of keep to myself. Not showing my entire bedroom or my restroom or something, you know, like that's like certain privacy things that I get to have. Cause really being a YouTuber, a lot of that kind of stuff by default, it gets, well, I want to even say by default, I watch some people that do their hair and their makeup and you don't know a single thing else about majority of their personal lives. People be shocked maybe you watch some people's videos and be like, oh wait, you're married. Oh wait, you have a child. But We'll decide. I won't even say get this video to a certain amount of likes and I'll show y'all my house because it's not that serious to me. Yes, it is. Get this video to 5,000 likes. Don't make it seem like that's impossible because I have 184K. So 5,000 likes, that's super easy. And whatever room is possibly close to being finished, she'll show it. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much, no, it's not. That's not all, show them, quit lying. You ain't been drinking water. I did get a Sprite today. I had some Welch's fruit snacks today. I tried, oh, let me show y'all this popcorn I tried. Hold on. Okay, I got this popcorn. This is by Oval Red and Bonka. This is the Poppycock Cashew Lovers. It has clusters of cashews and gourmet popcorn covered in our amazing glaze, baby. This popcorn is so good. I like to have snacks when we're going from location to location, so I don't know if I'm doing this vlog style or if this video is gonna be separate, so let me not start talking about my snacks and everything. Comment down below if y'all tried any of that popcorn before as well. I know y'all gonna probably ask about this jumpsuit. This was purchased in Burlington last summer, so I don't know if y'all will be able to find it. My braids video is probably out by the time y'all see this, as well as my nails, if y'all saw those. Both of those should be out. If they are, they popped up in my cars and they're 
link in my description box down below. Let's take the glasses off because they might be no, let's not take them off. You might have ring nose little indents. Okay, hope they weren't glaring the whole time. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you all want to see more footage of different things that I purchased from my house. That way I know that y'all are actually interested in this and I'm, I'm not just like posting something that y'all don't even want to watch. If you're like new to my channel, I'll link things about my home down below. On um, the day that I'm currently filming, June the 8th, we will have officially like been here for six months. So I'm thinking about maybe doing some type of little chatty video about, I don't know, like what I think about moving out. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. I guess sometimes I give the people what they want. If I can link stuff, stuff will be linked in my description box down below. Everything that's relevant as far as my hair goes, makeup, not makeup, ain't no makeup, nails, and any video of mine that you watch, relevant things are always in my description box, unless I'm rushing out and I usually do it later. Shut up, Destiny. You talk too much. You talk too much. You talk too much. These pictures and stuff is really gonna set it off in here. Everything is coming together. Next up, we need to start working on the curtains and stuff like that. I know I want sheer types of curtains. I don't want my son to be blocked out at all. And I want super cute curtain rods and stuff. But that's it. Click over here to watch more videos on my channel. Something home decor related or maybe my braids and my nails. I don't know. Something good is over here. If you saw both of those already, shout out to you. But go ahead and find another video to watch on my channel. Click over here on my cute little face to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And thank you all so much for watching. And I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye.